Good morning, friends. I am so excited for today's video. I am sharing a full day of lots of cleaning motivation, meal prepping, some easy dinners, and getting our schedule and chore charts together for summer break. I can't wait for you to see this productive day that I had and these delicious recipes. Get your to-do list ready and let's clean together. Okay friends, so we woke up to a beautiful morning, a beautiful sunny day here in Georgia and I was ready to get some things done. My kids are officially on summer break, so we are sleeping in a little bit. I typically wake up around 7.15 to 7.30, but I love not having to set my alarm. I knew I had a lot on my to-do list for the day, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start a load of laundry. Next, I went for a quick run where I did walk and run intervals outside. I'm currently listening to Reminders of Him, and so far, it's so good. I cannot wait to finish this book. Alright, you guys, so just got done running. I think I'm going to go take a shower. I'm not going to wash my hair because we're heading to the pool later today. But I'm gonna go rinse off, get some cleaning done. We'll take a little midday break to go to the pool and then I'll have to finish whatever I don't get done before that. But it is so humid out here. <sighs> Anyways, all right, let's go shower. The first thing on my list for the day was to get our summer schedule and chore chart for the kids together. And these are the printables that I shared with you guys last year and you can actually download them for free and use them for yourselves if you'd like. I have a link to them in my description box. But I printed these off, sat down with the kids, we came up with their schedule and chores together. I also have a summer bucket list sheet that I gave to each of them to fill out as well. Next I went and laminated them so I could put them on the fridge and use a dry erase marker with them. And if you guys want to hear how we do our summer schedule and how our chore chart system works, how much we pay the kids and all that information, I will give a full explanation at the end of the video. So here's how I put their summer schedule and chore chart on the fridge. When they get ready to fill out their chore chart, they can literally just take it off and use a dry erase marker to put little dots wherever they've done their chores and then put it right back on the fridge. Now, while the kids are getting their morning schedule and chores done, I've got lots of cleaning and meal prepping to do here in the kitchen. So let's start by getting the clutter put away, unloading the dishwasher, and get these dirty dishes out of the sink. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. So as I'm cleaning, my robot vacuum has gone off. I have it set on a schedule so it goes off the same time every single day it starts cleaning. And I have it set to where it only does the vacuuming, but if I want it to mop, then all I have to do is put the mop pads on it and it will actually vacuum and then it will go self-empty the vacuum canister and then it will actually mop the floors too. Now this vacuum is pretty pricey, but I feel like all the robot vacuums with all of these features have gotten a lot pricier than the old robot vacuums that we used to have. Um, but it's the Ecovax Omni... I think it's the Dbot X1 Omni robot. I shared it a few months ago, but I'll link it in the description box in case you're in the market for a robot vacuum and you're wanting, you know, you have a higher end budget because this one definitely is pricier. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky. You're nice, but now I am telling you, I'm going 
to smile But I would never, ever, ever Would have believed them No reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But never, never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky So I realized that I never introduced myself at the beginning of the video and some of you may be new here and have no clue who I am so I figured I would take a second to introduce myself and welcome you to my channel so I'm so glad that you're here I hope you love it um, my name is Amy and here on my channel you're gonna find lots of videos like this one so I do lots of cleaning organizing home decor DIYs recipes um, just anything and everything that I do as a mom from day-to-day -day life that hopefully I can share with you guys to either motivate you or give you some tips and tricks to make things easier. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of this community and if you are new then be sure to say hey down in the comments and introduce yourself so that way we can get to know you and I want to say hey to all the returning subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here and I hope you're getting tons of motivation today. Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me All right, so with the end of the school year comes lots of papers that I'm either tossing and getting rid of because we no longer need, or I'm going to file it away. So first I'm going to go through their book bags, which we have right here in this little area. We don't have like a mud room or anywhere, so we just set their book bags right there on that chair. So now that it's summer break, I can take these book bags, empty them, and put them in their closets. So I'm going through and just getting rid of things that we no longer need. And then I'm going to take the rest of the stuff upstairs and they can put them, put them away in their rooms. And then here in these little file organizers, each of my kids has papers from the school year. They have awards, pictures, all kinds of different things that we just file away. And I kind of go through this several times a year and then go ahead and I don't necessarily keep every single thing that was in there, but I will go through it and toss the things that we don't want to keep and file away the things that we do want to keep. I made these bins several years ago and these are what they look like on the side. They have their names and then on each of the file folders it has their grade and then I also put their school picture there on the front and then I file away anything that we decide to keep. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. All right, so the kitchen is mostly just picked up for right now. I'm gonna actually finish cleaning in just a little bit. But before I get to cleaning, um, before I finish cleaning, I wanted to go ahead and do some meal prepping. We have sports Monday through Thursday night. So this is just gonna make it easier for us during the night. I've got um, a couple of casseroles that I'm making. And these are all the ingredients that I need. Plus I defrosted some chicken, so I've got that right here. But I'm gonna meal prep these really quick. I'm gonna show you how I make them. They're super easy, delicious meals, and it's just gonna make my weeknights so much easier. So the recipes that I'm using are coming from the Macro Friendly Food app. The first recipe, which is all these ingredients here, is a chicken enchilada casserole. 
And then the second recipe is a pizza casserole. All right, so the first thing I need to do is get some chicken cooked in the oven. This is gonna be for that chicken enchilada casserole. So I am just using some chicken breasts that I got from Costco. I defrosted them. And now I'm just gonna season them with some salt, pepper, and paprika. And then I'm gonna throw them in the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for, mine were actually, my chicken was actually pretty thick. So I did it for about 25 minutes. But I would just, depending on your chicken, you know, maybe 23 to 25 minutes. There ain't nothing to stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I'm on. I got it. I got it. Now while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the pizza casserole and I'm gonna get this one done first. And I have this little um, dicer right here. It comes with several different blades and you can cut them in different sizes. But I love this thing. I got it off of Amazon. It's super inexpensive. I wanna say it's like 13 bucks. I can't remember the exact price, but I will link it down in the description box. Um, but I love this thing for dicing up all kinds of produce and everything I'm not good with a knife <laughs> so using this little thing has been a lifesaver now her recipe actually called for rotini pasta but I decided to go with the protein plus penne pasta to give it even more protein plus my kids really love the penne pasta and I'm also using the wooden spoon trick here so that my water does not boil over. I know a lot of people say it never works for them. Y'all will have to let me know. Does the wooden spoon trick work for you where you just stick it on top and then your water never boils over? It always works for me. Now, obviously my water's not like boiling up super high right now, but I should have done it where I could show you guys I've done it in the past. But I promise you, my water never boils over when I use a wooden spoon. So I'm going to continue making the pizza casserole and I will show you all of the ingredients here on the screen that I'm using as I'm going through and making these two dishes. But I will also leave the recipes down in the description box for you so that way if you want to make these for yourselves or for your families, you can. Now like I said, my kids have sports Monday through Thursday. So we are looking for super easy meals that I can either prep during the day or don't take a whole lot of time to cook in the evenings. And so we did these two meals this week. We ate on the chicken enchilada casserole on Tuesday and Wednesday because Memorial Day was on Monday. And then on Thursday, we had the pizza casserole and you're gonna see in just a little bit, but after we got done with the pizza casserole, we had so much left over and I knew we weren't gonna eat it on Friday night because we do, we go out to eat on Fridays or we'll pick up a pizza or something like that. And so what I did was I ended up just putting them in the meal prep containers and freezing them and I had four freezer meals left over of this pizza casserole for either for me to eat for lunch or if I wanted to pull them out and thaw them out on a night that we have sports or something, then Chance and I can each have one and then we can cook something else quick for the kids or something like that. But I can't, could not believe how much this made and how much we had left over. It was so delicious. But if you guys are busy sports moms and you're constantly running your kids around to practices and games and stuff during the evenings too, during the week, then I would love to hear any tips and tricks that you guys have or any of your favorite meals to cook. Um, I know a lot of times last year we were eating in our car, so it was, I was actually having to cook meals that I could just throw in Tupperware containers or bento containers, and we would eat them in the car because we were so strapped on time. But I would love to hear any of your tips and tricks or recipes that you like to cook. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took. But now it looks like acting like we were fiction in a book. 
Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the so this is actually Thursday night We cooked when we cooked our pizza casserole and then I wanted to just show you guys what it looked like cooked and then how much we had left over afterwards that I put in the freezer. All right, now our chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up and we're gonna get started on the chicken enchilada casserole. So here we have both of our meals here in the fridge. Now these are also great for freezing reels too. So if you wanted to go ahead and cook them in like the foil pans, then you could do that. Now this is a little bit later at night. I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys here what it looks like cooked. It was really good. We all had a good sized portion of this and we had leftovers and I just had those for lunch the next day. You're leaving town Everything is upside down Oh baby, I love you Now here is the after meal prep mess that I have to clean up. So I'm going to clean this up really quick and you're going to see the floors. I got cheese and everything all over the floors. It was such a mess, but I'm going to be pulling out my vacuum mop in just a little bit, the Tenko iFloor 2 that I have. And I absolutely love this thing, especially for when I'm making big messes like this. It makes it so much easier to vacuum and mop up the floors at the same time.
Now, since the mess on the stove was just in this little area, I decided instead of wiping down the entire stove, since it wasn't all messy, I would just pull out an eco cloth and I just wet it. It's kind of like a reusable paper towel. So I just wet it with hot water and I'm wiping it up. None of this is like stuck on yet since I'm cleaning right after I made the mess. So it was super easy to get up. Now I'm using that same eco cloth and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters with this first just to get all of the mess that's caked on here off. I got some salsa on here, some cheese, some of that mixture that we made, some Greek yogurt, all kinds of stuff is all over the countertop. So I'm gonna wipe it with this e-cloth first and then I'm gonna go back over it and use a multi-surface spray and a microfiber, a microfiber cloth to clean it up. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to Now that my sink is empty of dishes, we got all that stuff put away, I'm gonna go ahead and clean down my sink. I'm just using Dawn Power Wash and a Scrub Daddy, and this stuff smells amazing and works so good. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm. Should have been you another time, another place. I just know mm, it could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Mm, sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. Driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm -hmm. Should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. Now, I was not going to wipe down my stainless steel appliances, but I noticed some marks here on the handles of both the freezer and on the refrigerator. I guess it was just from pulling food in and out, but I'm just going to wipe it down really quickly, and I'm using the Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner. I used this for the first time a few weeks ago, and I love this stuff. Sometimes I just don't know. So I'm that mom that lets the kids throw balls in the house and this is what happens. They end up everywhere. So we have this little basket where we keep all of our little balls right here and most nobody knows that they're there except for the kids. But look at this floor. It is covered in cheese and crumbs and all kinds of things. So this is where the Tenko Eye Floor 2 is like one of my favorite things ever because there's also like sauce and stuff that was spilt on the floor. It was just kind of dried up by this time and so instead of just sweeping up this entire mess and then vacuuming and then mopping all the floors I have the Tenko I floor too it does all the vacuuming and mopping at the same time now the Tenko does have a specific formula that comes with it that you can use on your floors 
but I actually still use the Pine Sol in this. It does not recommend it on their website. It says that the bubbles could, you know, get over bubbly and possibly mess up your machine. But I only use a tiny bit of Pine Sol in mine and so far so good. But I don't know what it is. I just love the smell of Pine Sol. I know that when I was little and I would come home and my mom had been cleaning all day, there would be the fresh smell of pine saw because she used it to mop. And so I don't know if that's why I love it so much, but I absolutely love the way it smells. I also love the way that the floors shine after I've used the pine saw on my floors. It's just my favorite. So that is what I use in my Tenco. But like I said, on their website, it recommends that you only use their product. So I'm looking at the Walmart website right now and the Tenco iFloor 2 model that I have is on sale for $138 and this is a steal. This is probably one of the best purchases I've ever made for cleaning. It actually has cut my vacuum and mopping time in half. I do my floors so much more because it's just so much quicker, so much easier, so much easier on my back, all the things. So if you have a whole lot of wood floors or tile and you're doing a whole lot of mopping during the week or even just once a week, then I still think this is worth it. Um, so go check it out. I will have a link to this particular vacuum down in my description box. Now there is an iFloor 3. Um, that one's probably going to be more expensive. But like I said, I have the iFloor 2 and I absolutely love it. Now here's a look at all the stuff. Obviously I had feathers and things for my pillows that are constantly falling out and going all over the floor. But here's a look at the water after I was done. It is so gross. Every time I mop my floors, I'm always just so disgusted. But a lot of people have told me that their Tenko has a funny smell. So the first thing I would say is make sure that you are self-cleaning your brush roll every single time that you clean. It just hooks back up to the charger. You hold it down, hold down the power button for a few seconds and it's gonna self-clean. After that, I take the dirty water canister and all the little pieces that go with that. It has like a little sponge and filter and everything. I take that out and I spray it all down with the Dawn Power Wash and give it a quick clean. You wanna do this every single time you use your vacuum. Now typically I do this in our laundry room sink, but our laundry room was full of clothes and I didn't want to get any of those wet, so I did it outside. Now, another thing is every couple of weeks, I don't do this every single time I run my vacuum, but every couple of weeks I will actually take the brush roll off and I will spray that down with Dawn Power Wash as well, as well as the little piece that goes on top. Now I'm just letting them all dry in the sun before I put them back together in the vacuum. Another thing I do every few weeks is clean out the bottom piece where the brush roll was and also the little piece where the dirty water tank attaches. You can see it gets lots of hair and just kind of gets clogged up. So I go through, clean that out, and then I will actually spray it down with some hydrogen peroxide. And you could also use vinegar for this, whatever cleaner you want. I just have this one in a spray bottle, so that's what I did really quick. And I let it sit for a little bit so that it disinfects, and then I will wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. So hopefully this helps. It does take a little bit of maintenance to have this machine, but it's totally worth it. It's still a lot quicker to clean all the pieces and everything than it is for me to vacuum my entire downstairs and then go back and mop the entire downstairs.
now that we have our little summer schedule printed out, our chore chart printed out, I'm gonna show you guys the schedule really quickly. So I didn't put times or anything because we are super flexible in the summer and then plus sometimes we're gonna have things that are going on in the mornings and we just have to kind of move things around. But this is basically what we're trying to get done in the mornings. And then we do have sports Monday through Thursday for practices. But in the morning we're doing breakfast and Bible time. I'll show you the Bible devotional that we're using. Um, I've shown it before in the past. I love it because it has like a weekly Bible verse in there for you. And then it also has a story of the day. So I'm going through that with the kids. They have their summer chores that they have to complete in the morning. I'll show you that. Um, a workout and stretch time. This is just to kind of get their bodies moving. Gracie June's going to be doing some stretching for like getting more flexible for cheer. And then like that's been one of her goals so I told her we're gonna do some stretch YouTube videos she can do this on her own and then case and stuff is gonna be different each day some days he's gonna run some laps around the cul-de-sac some days he's gonna get out and hit a bucket of balls it'll just be kind of whatever chance wants him to do that day but it's also gonna be stuff that he can do on his own just to you know get his body moving in the morning and then their daily reading they both have reading that they have to do for summer reading and journal so Gracie June's gonna keep like a journal, but for Kaysen's summer reading, he has an article and he has to do notes and things like that with that. So he knows what he has to do for that. Um, so like I said, he's got an article to read. Gracie June has a couple of chapter books that she's gonna be working her way through. And then like I said, in the evening, we have baseball Tuesdays and Thursdays and then cheer on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we'll either do Tuesday or Thursday for tumbling when we can do it. So. That is our little summer schedule. Let me show you their chore chart really quick. We actually sat down together and made these chores out. Um, they all, all of them are the same. This is Kaysen's, this is Gracie June's. This is just kind of how we keep track of how much money they get, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but basically their chores are to make their bed, clean their bedroom, clean the playroom, unload or load the dishwasher, whatever I need them to do. So this could be in the morning, this could also be in the evening wipe down the bathroom counters and the sink. So Kaysen has the upstairs bathroom and then Gracie June has the downstairs bathroom. I thought this would be kind of nice to take a little bit off of my plate and not make it, and, and make it to where the bathrooms aren't getting as dirty as quick. Um, laundry, so this is basically on Mondays. They will bring down their laundry hampers. While I'll wash their clothes. I'm actually gonna show them, start trying to get them to wash their own clothes, especially Kaysen. Um, just kind of show him how to do it in case I want him to start it. And then we will fold clothes together. They will put their own clothes away. And then once they are good at folding their clothes, which we've been working on for a couple of years, um, they, don't, they don't do it as perfect, you know, as, as well as I want them to do it. But the fact that they are still learning and, you know, they're able to do most of it by themselves is great. Um, and then wipe down the kitchen, and this is like the kitchen counters and the table. Um, this will mostly be after dinner. So that is their chore chart. All right, and then to explain how we do money for this. So each chore that they do, they get a dot for. So they'll come and they'll use just um, a dry erase marker. They'll put a dot by the day that they've done that chore. And then each dot is worth 50 cents. So we'll add it all up at the end of the week. That's how much money they will get. And then I have bonus checks and fines on here. So bonus checks are when I ask them to go do something that is not on this list that is considered a chore, then I can give them a little tally mark and that's another 50 cents. For fines, this is when they, this is more behavioral or when they're mean to each other, I could give them a fine if they call somebody a mean name or something like that or whatever I want it to be if they're you know not doing something that they're supposed that they are supposed to be doing or whatever then I can give them a fine and they lose 50 cents so we total it all up at the end of the week and then this is where you know we put in what what their paycheck is and then I will either like we kind of keep tally of it. If I don't have cash, I'll go get cash out and try to do it that way. And then they also have their spend, tithe, and save jars. So we kind of divvy all of that up at the end of the week as well.
Okay, and then these are their Bible cases. They both have the Adventure Bible, which is super good for kids. Um, and then this is the Children's Daily Devotional Bible that we're going to be using throughout the summer. So um, it actually used to be at my cousin's when she was little, and they gave it to us when I had kids. Um, but basically, so this is the day that we did today, and it tells you, so you have a whole five days of stories. So um, it gives you the little story for the day. You have a prayer to pray together, and then you start learning the Bible verse. It gives you little pieces each day, but instead of doing it in pieces each day, what I did was we turned to the end of the week. And both of the kids went ahead and wrote out this entire Bible verse on sticky notes, and then they stuck it in the front of their Bibles here in these cases. And that way, each day, they can look at their sticky notes, but obviously we'll sit here and we'll say it together in the mornings too, but they can look at their sticky note anytime they want to go over their Bible verse for the week. As we go through this story, I'm kind of asking them questions and trying to make sure that they understand what's going on because sometimes when we're reading, they don't quite understand, you know, especially in the Old Testament. So um, we do go over this together and I do sit down with them and do this together with them. All right, guys, so that's all the cleaning and my entire to-do list for this day. I got it all done, which doesn't normally happen, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got lots of cleaning motivation. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.